I mean, we have so many people up front <laughs> that it's kind of working out, but I don't think we can hold them off for too long is the problem. You see, that one got by. Shoot him again. Please hurry up. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dead Ahead Zombie Warfare. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. We are finally back to this bad boy here. If you guys recall, we played this from stage one to six. We beat everything. We got three stars in every single level. Stage seven came around, I believe like October or something like that. We played it. We were able to beat the first level. Second level kicked my ass and I rage quit quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you, I rage quit. Um, what happened was they nerfed a bunch of characters, they changed a lot of things up, and more importantly, these zombies in Stage 7 are just super powerful. So, I stopped playing, but a couple of weeks ago I picked it up because I've heard that they've rebalanced a couple of things going forward, they added multiplayer and stuff like that, so I came back a couple of weeks ago and started playing, and as you can see, I've actually beaten quite a few of the levels from 7. Not all of them, obviously, and some of them not even 3 stars. And a lot of them required not only new strategies on my part, but also a little bit of luck as well. So I figure we come back over here and show you some of the levels I've done. And if we have some pretty good success going forward, I might do more of these videos going forward. Now, just a bit of fair warning, if I fail, I apologize. I have an idea what I want to do, but a lot of these levels require not only strategy, but more importantly, timing and a little bit of luck. Sometimes even a lot of luck. So, just a bit of fair warning in case we don't do well here. We failed over here. So let's start off with stage uh, mission number 115 over here and see if I could um, get lucky. Now, I haven't played this in a couple of days, so I'm not really sure um, what the levels are going to be about. I'm not sure if right now I need to send somebody because... Uh, as Oh, we have this guy running. You know what? We'll probably have to send you right now. And then... Oh. Stopped him. Good. Good, 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 good. Ah! Shoot him! Ah, he hit him. So we're not getting a three-star for this one. Okay, but at least we stopped the onslaught over here momentarily. Right now, what I think I need is probably the Grenadier. So we kind of, like, get a little rid of that mob over here. We're not going to three-star this one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I think we've, um, we've probably failed. <laughs> Oh, what a good return, huh? Oh my god. What a return, huh? What a freaking return already. Okay, I'm gonna let you probably beat up that thing. I need that guy to get a shot off on you. I need you to kind of like avoid hitting me and just beat up the, 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 the bus. Go ahead and beat up the bus, that's fine. Kill... Would've really loved to kill here, but that's fine. Okay, now we hold off and now I think we send the Grenadier for that mob that's about to come up here pretty soon. I would love to line it up so that we can kill these guys as well. Or at least hurt them quite a bit. There they come. Okay, now we go, and now we toss. That worked pretty good. Okay, that's acceptable. Now we send Carlos out there to start doing some DPS for us right there. Okay, this is fine. I almost feel like using Courage now, so make sure that we actually beat this, but I'll hold off here a little bit. Let's send you off as well. I was hoping to get that zombie right there, but whatever. Now, we got this. Let's put some Courage down over here for spawning. We could freeze these guys over here as well. That's not a bad idea. As a matter of fact, let me just freeze you guys right there if I can. Sonia, let's come out here now. We're not going to three-star this one as you could probably imagine, but... Oh, that's no good over there. It's no good. Stop them. Please stop them. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, a lot of what you're going to be doing for these levels, I've noticed as well, is the fact that you're going to be using... Not only the water tank for getting courage for yourself, but also just to stop attacks onto your um, bus. So I think this one we have finally beat it now. I hope. Carlos, get out there. This one should be a victory in the back for us now. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. So you saw what I meant about timing? You could have a good strategy, you could have a really good deck, but nothing is going to beat timing and a little bit of luck. So this is a mission that we couldn't beat before, last time I played. And we, we failed twice here on camera, but you saw that we finally got it done. But it's a matter of timing. You could have a really good deck. A lot of people could be like, oh, the recommended deck for this is this and that. Sure, that helps a little bit. But if you don't have the timing right, and sometimes just the luck of when they spawn, who they attack, who they don't freeze, that plays a really big factor into things as well. Okay. Let's give this one a try, because apparently I got to use my same deck over here for this one. I have notes next to me over here, because like I, I did beat these a couple of days ago. And I wrote down notes for the video, so I know what I'm supposed to summon. So for this here, I think the first thing we'll probably need is a Grenadier. I think we have to wait. 
Because there's going to be like a mob that's going to rush us. This game, stage 7 loves to send big mobs constantly at you. And there it is. And now we have to get lucky and line everything up. I think I might have delayed a little bit too much. I, del I missed everything completely. That's bad. This is not going to work. Or maybe. Well, we survive momentarily. What's cool about the updates now, too, you see how he's not running through the fire? They no longer are idiots and are kind of like, oh, let me just run through the fire. They actually wait to avoid getting um, charbroiled, which is great. Now, these dudes over here, the, the helmet guys, don't kill them, please. Those helmet guys, they will revive over and over. I have to burn those guys for a fact. Otherwise, they'll just continue spawning. For now, let's place this down over here. I need to save up some courage here momentarily. We're slowing them down. Oh, that's a very good slowdown. Oh, we got a few, but not enough. Get the guy in the bottom. Sonia, no! <sighs> Alrighty. Well, at least I remember now what it is. We have to wait for the first one. The thing that really threw me off here is that I missed a grenade completely. And again, we go back to the issue. Timing. Everything is about timing here. So we know we have to wait here. I might even want to drop the Courage here again. Let's try Courage for this one, too. Because I know I could beat this one for a fact with my deck right now. Let's save this up over here. Now, what I want for this one is that when these guys show up to rush at me, I want them to be together. The last group that we got right now, the last turn, they were kind of split apart. I want them together kind of like that. And then, oh my lord almighty, I just can't land one today or what? Okay, we're fine. Kill him, please. Kill him. Get him in a blade. Uh, we're fine. Okay, we're good right now. Let's just hold off on that. Um, now we'll send Sonya out. We'll even send Carlos out. We got the extra courage for it. So you guys start leveling these guys here a little bit for me. Uh, let's send the Marine out for now to kind of keep you guys safe, because I need you guys to be alive to take care of the brains away from me. And... We should be able to place this down over here. I'll even place you down over here. Okay. Have they hit the bus just yet? I'm not sure they have. Oh, please get a few of those. Nice, nice. Good one. Good one. That's a very good one right there. Okay, I almost feel like powering up. Let's power up. I normally, I don't think I use these many items for this time, the first time around. But right now, I feel like we're very close to a three star. I'm not sure if I three stars this one before I already forgot. Okay, here's another big group coming up. We'll toss this over here. We got a couple of them, which is good. Now, I think we do that. We'll pick this up, pick you up, pick you up. Now, we want to make sure that we can get my, my melee guys up front. Behind this group of dudes, we'll be reviving over and over. I think we got this one, guys. I think. Oh, oh, don't, don't kill them all. Keep a few alive. Shoot again. We got it. Now, is this going to be three stars? I think it is. This might be my first three star in this level. Oh boy. Is it my first three star? No, I've three starred this one before. Okay. Well, at least we got it done. And what happened there? Timing. The timing is all a matter of timing now. So you can have the good strategy and everything. You have a pretty good deck. My deck isn't great. It's all right. Like, my Marine is capped off at 11 because it's level my bus. But my Grenadier can still use a couple of levels. But I'm missing the proper items to level him up. And Sonya's a level 5. I was using the cap before Sonya, but once we got Sonya, like, she's kind of, like, not... She's not as good as having the turret, but she's kind of like the turret in a sense, but um, just not as good. But she does... She is able to move around back and forth, so that's kind of a little bit useful. The turret is completely stationary. Okay, so we got that one done. After this one, I think we could probably do 121. Uh, this is something that we're leaving for... Have we bit... No, we, we did this one, and we did that one, right? Yeah. Um, 116, I got two stars on this one. I have no idea what this mission entails. Like, I have in my notes over here, do 118 and do 121. <laughs> After that, I have no idea why I want to do these levels. I guess I'm comfortable with them. You're 119, you require the welder, so I'm going to wait out on that one. Actually, this is 118, right? Yeah, that was it. So, 121 I could probably do. What's 121? Down here? Okay, apparently I could do this one with the same squad that I have right now. And I've three started this one before. I just need to remember what the hell this is. A lot of this is a matter of like trying to figure out when you're supposed to send your units to start off with. Sometimes it's just better to wait and kind of figure it out. Right now I'm thinking we should wait. I don't think we have to send anybody out just yet. Who are you sending? What's the big kicker here? Now that guy's really annoying. He's got a ton of HP. He regenerates HP. He can't catch him on fire. He's just super annoying. Is that all you're sending here? Just these guys? Okay, there it is. That's the trick. 
These guys jump behind your characters and instantly kill them. The first one, please kill him. Get him out of the way. Thank you. Now, I think we send our gunners out there to start leveling these guys from afar. The next big thing here, I think we're going to get another one of those weird aliens that's going to show up. And he's going to show up and jump behind them and try to kill one of them immediate, immediately. We're going to have to have some people, some melee characters around them when that happens. So, for now, I think... I'm not going to use any items, I don't think. I think I'll hold off on that. I'm not going to send Grenadier out there just yet, either. I'd rather just get another shooter. And if we're lucky... We could probably even freeze that alien when he shows up. I'm not sure if I want to set this down just yet. He's going to show up, right? Well, oh. slow them down. I'm not sure if I, I think I should have probably waited a bit longer. All right, let's send Grenadier out there for now because we have to get eventually close enough to obviously hurt that barricade anyway. Send you off over here. There is the guy that I... He's, he jumped right now, and he jumped in front of Sonya. Sonya has knockback, so that's very useful. No, you throw the bomb before you blow up! Didn't throw the bomb before you blew up. Okay, that's, that's still fine. Now you toss this over there. And now we just need courage to level these guys out and get close enough over there. This is going to be a really tricky one. I might almost want to, like, you know, use the... The tequila, whatever the hell that is, for extra power. Because these guys have a ton of HP. That's the big problem about them. You know what? Let's use it. These have so much freaking HP that I feel that we need it right now. Should have probably tossed that grenade a lot sooner. I'll send you out there. Okay, there we go, there we go. I could use the 100 thing. Let's use this one right now. I'll send you out as well. And let me put this frozen thing back over here. I think we got this one, guys. Nobody's attacked the bus just yet, right? So right, we, that should be 100 right there easily. Here comes the big mob. But that's not a problem at this point. Oh. Oh, we froze our guys with that freaking thing right there as well. Oh, that might be a problem. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Send somebody out. You see, how the, the freeze thing is really useful for you, but it can also hinder your party as well. But once they're unfrozen, that barricade's down. And we got this one in three stars as well. Perfect. Okay. This already is a big success because I got three... Levels on camera bead. And two of them in three stars, one of them in two. So that's pretty good. I'll accept that. So after this one right here... Um... We have seven gasoline. That means like three more... Three more tries. Let's go to 119. Let's go to 119. This is the one that I told you that I need a lot of luck for. But for this one, I need the welder. So for this one, we're going to say goodbye to the marine. And we're going to go with the welder right over here. So use you over here this one requires so much luck i was able to three start was i not yeah but it requires so much luck and you'll see why here pretty soon so let's um i guess we'll go for it we got three attempts at this i don't promise success i hope we could get it done but the problem with this is that these guys over here blow up and they infect your party members and if they infect my range characters from afar we're basically boned and this is going to be a stage where they're going to send these guys with a million HP and these guys over and over. So what we want to do is we want to get the welder eventually to sneak by everything, put a water tank in front of him, and have him beat up the barricade for us, and the tank in front of him will be kind of like a bit of defense for him going forward. So right now, I think all we have to do is just literally wait till we get you guys. This might be one of those levels where I think I should probably even use Courage. Or attack power, perhaps. But if we do that... Let's use attack power right now. Because I want to make sure that we keep these guys from infecting my... My ranged characters. And for that to happen, they have to die really far. We could easily... Let me actually put this down here. Because it'll freeze them. And oh, you saw the, the blood almost infected my characters right there. So we kind of lucked out. Oh, no, no. Don't put this down just yet. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Thank you. I'm going to save that for the welder. Okay, now, right now, I just need more. Oh, no, you're getting close. Don't infect them. Okay, that's good. You know what? Let's let's get one Courage up and running, at least for now. We're still waiting for the water to power down. Okay, he's good now. Off you go. Sonia, let's send you out there, too. Keep them as far away as possible from me. Okay. Good, good. Make sure they blow up from afar. Welder, is it time for you? No, we're still waiting for this freaking tank to come along. I can't use this shooter right now. Can't do that. 
Not for this level. They spawn too often and even make that even... It makes it kind of pointless, honestly. Um, I'm gonna send you out momentarily. Because we're waiting for... The water tank to be on cooldown. Because I need that in front of the welder to protect them a little bit. As a matter of fact... Uh, yeah, you see they're all coming up now. It probably is best for us to wait. Tank, come on. Can't use you. Send you out there, send you out there. Okay, come on, tank. Tank's ready to go. Tank's ready to go. We gotta wait for this mob and then we'll send him off. And we gotta be careful that we don't run out of time here and the mob shows up eventually, too. Okay, now we do it. Where? Oh, the mob's coming up. Where are you going? I think we failed, guys. We failed. We absolutely failed that one. And we failed because um, the tank was in place in front of the guy where I had to go. I don't think we could do this. Maybe if I power up. No, we didn't have marines to send them out over and over. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. The mob's going to kill us here. Essentially, you saw the plan though, right? The plan is to put the tank in front of the wilder. So you see how he's attacking the tank? It keeps him from attacking the wilder momentarily. And we are so boned. I'm not sure... I mean, we have so many people up front... <laughs> ...that it's kind of working out, but I don't think we can hold them off for too long is the problem. You see, that one got by. Shoot him again. Please hurry up. Now, here's a trick. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you survive the wave, they'll stop completely, and then... Yeah, we, we, we died. Everybody died. Had we survived... Have we killed the rest of these guys here? Oh! You see how there's nobody left over? Had we were able to hold these guys off, we would have... Uh, nothing else would have spawned, and we could have just sent anybody to kill the barricade for us over and over. Ugh. That was on me, though. I misplaced it. I think what I need to do first is put down the, the freeze tank by the welder to slow down whoever's coming at him and then put the water tank down in front of him so that they attack the water tank and not him and that'll give him some time to get that done okay all right welder go now oh no the welder got infected oh no the welder got we had the perfect setup too we're not gonna win this one for a fact we're not as powerful as we were the last one, so the 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 wave's gonna kill us completely. Oh my goodness, God! The infection got him. That fat dude back there. In fact, we're not gonna win this one. You know what? Let's just go for it now. Okay. We have actually two more tries because uh, my fuel is regenerated. Give me that. Should we shoot now? Might want to consider shooting now. We'll see. Okay, hold up. Welder, please show up. Get this guy out of the way. Welder, please. Welder, you ding dong. Eight seconds, not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Welder, where's he at? Okay, he's, he's working at it, but here comes everybody. Here comes the entire mob, and the welder's the first one to go. Couldn't do it. Could not freaking do it. Oh my goodness, God. And they all got by everybody, too, is the big problem, so we could even stop them. Well, there you guys have it. <laughs> this is the reason why I want to leave this one for last, because it just requires so much luck. We had the best chance at it the second try, I think, or the second time that we tried it, but the infection got him. But we had everything set up already. We had the freeze, we had the tank in front of him, but of course, one of those fat infected guys blew up around him and killed him because of that. Um, it went fairly well. If you guys want to see another more of this, do let me know and I'll come back to it. I want to show you the multiplayer as well, but we're out of time for this video, so I won't be able to show that off here. I still have multiplayer to show off, but if you want me to continue... I mean, there's a couple of other missions I could try until I finally master this one correctly. If you want to see more, do let me know, but for now, as I mentioned, we had a little bit of success, but we also had a lot of failure because Stage 7 is still no joke. It requires a lot of luck and a lot of timing, and Stage 8 is along the way. Can you imagine what's going to be involved in Stage 8? I can't even imagine. I'll catch you guys next time.